We have promised to reveal more than 1,000 secrets of finance, trade, and investment. Now we are boarding. Get ready and take notes. Are you ready? Now that you are ready, I'm happy. Let's start. What is the bond market? The bond market is also called the credit market or the debt market. The bond market is one type of the financial market basically dealing with the issuance that is issuing, issuance and trading of fixed income securities. Your bonds, when we are saying trading of fixed income securities, we are referring to the buying and the selling of those fixed income securities, buying and selling of bonds. Simplification version, Koshia, Kwekwe, please, come on. The bond market, is basically the marketplace for trading of debt securities. It is the marketplace for trading of debt securities. We'll deal with these marketplaces, uh, differences and types in our follow-up videos. Examples of these uh, bonds will be your corporate bonds that are traded on, on these different types of markets. Uh, the government bonds, the municipal bonds. This type of a market, that is the bond market, is in the heart of the capital market. We indicated issuance, yes. When we have got issuers, they are there to issue these debt securities in order to raise debt capital. Where, where there is debt to be raised, for sure, there should be investors to invest. Trading methodologies and intricacies will be dealt with directly with the live rock gurus wow gurus wow this is awesome this is the world of knowledge let me have a cup of coffee now let's talk about the valuation of bonds bond valuation what is bond valuation bond valuation is basically the determination of the price of a bond Everything has got a price attached to it, even the bonds, fixed income securities, all of them, they have got prices attached to them, prices attached to them, bond valuation. Like the valuation of a house, the house is also valued, like the valuation of a car, the car is also valued, so bonds are also valued. That is called bond evaluation. This exercise of bond evaluation is basically to determine the fair price of bonds, the fair price of fixed income securities. That is basically what bond evaluation is all about. Now let's talk about the bond flow. Oh wow. Even the bond has got a flaw. I thought it's the house only that has got a flaw. Yes, bond flaw. But it's not the same. Bond flaw. The bond flaw is also called the bond value. It is basically the lowest trading value or the minimum value, a specific bond. Usually, 
an example of a convertible bond, which is the minimum value this particular convertible bond should trade for. That's the bond flow. When this convert convertible bond, when a convertible bond, the, we can call it, in short, convertible, still the convertible bond, same thing. When this convertible bond is trading at a uh, at bond value or at bond flow, its price is generally very similar to a standard bond with the same coupon and maturity. Bond flow is calculated using the discounted value of its coupons, that is the discounted present value of the bond's coupons plus the redemption value or the conversion or its conversion value as we know that the value as we know that the conversion value uh, is basically the amount an investor will receive if a convertible bond is converted into common stock for sure live rock gurus are you there they will really gain a lot of information. Now let's deal with swapping in the bond market. There's a lot in store. This is just the beginning of the secrets. The bond swap. What is the bond swap? In this case, the bond swap, in the case of a bond swap, the bond holder will sell a debt instrument, will sell the bond and use the money and use the proceeds generated and use the revenue generated from the sales of the bond on one hand in order to buy another bond or another debt instrument with the money generated from the sales of the of the first bond so basically that is what bond swap is all about you sell you use the money you buy which means the holder um, of the bond will sell the bond in order to buy another bond there can be numerous other reasons as to why the, the holder is taking this particular decision of swapping. But for now, let's say it's just purely to buy and to sell. It's, it's basically to sell one bond and also to buy another bond. Which means this happens normally before the maturity date of the first bond arrives, which means before the first bond matures. And that is which is supposed to be the date the, the first bond matures. But it will be sold and the proceeds will be used to buy another bond. Let's say for instance the bond is having the maturity of 30 years. So the investor will sell the 30 year bond in order to buy that to buy the 10 year bond for instance. Investors do engage in this type of transaction or exercise in order to improve their financial positions because re definitely when you are going to get some proceeds revenue there should be another reason as to why you do that so they do that they embark on these type of exercises in order to to improve their financial positions in their in their fixed income portfolios because they are simply replacing one bond in their portfolio 
with another bond in their portfolio. A lot is being swapped during this process and there are lots of reasons as to why there is this whole new concept now of swapping in the bond market. Not only maturities, but a lot. But for sure, gurus, live rock gurus, you'll get more and more. We are taking the batch of five secrets in this space of finance, investment and trade. We are taking the batch of five so that at least you are able to understand the five. We go to another one, then we proceed like that until we are done with the first field of study then we go to other sectors as well because we will do the same to all the sectors we have indicated so this is the fifth one now we are talking about discounts people they like discounts because that's why you don't pay the full amount but this is not an ordinary one we are talking about the discount in the bond market the discount bond oh it's the type of the bond okay now i understand the discount bond what is a discount bond a discount bond is a bond that is issued for less than its face value sometimes we call the face value to be the par value or or always so it's basically the bond that is issued for less than its base value or for less than its par value. It is a, a bond that trades in the, in, the, in the market for less than its face value, which means it trades probably in the secondary market. When it trades there, it will be trading at less than its face value. The discount key here and clearly defines this fixed income security. The discount is key. Once you say discount, it tells you that something less than normal is to be paid or will trade on the score. But discount becomes deeper sometimes, in some instances, in the space of trading where we get deeper and we get deeper discount bonds, which means they are extremely discounted and it suggests a lot about the company's ability to honor its debt obligations. So you get your discount bond, but you get those that are greatly discounted and they are called deeper discount bonds. So Life Rock Gurus, I'm sure you are all yes and we will cruise together. The secrets are getting revealed now. The secrets are getting revealed now. Should you wish to be the Live Rock Guru, kindly contact us. Do you wish to receive advanced holistic business consulting services? Kindly make use of the contact details below this tutorial video. Please subscribe, like, share, and 